Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition, page 272. Restrictive and Obliterative Cardiomyopathy. What are some of the major causes of restrictive slash obliterative cardiomyopathy? Some of the major causes of this include sarcoidosis, amyloidosis, post-radiation fibrosis, endocardial fibroelastosis, low flare syndrome, and hemochromatosis. What is endocardial fibroelastosis? Endocardial fibroelastosis is when there is a thick fibroelastic tissue in the endocardium of young children. What is low flare syndrome? Low flare syndrome is a endomyocardial fibrosis with a prominent eosinophilic infiltrate. What is another condition that can also occur in hemochromatosis? Hemochromatosis along with restrictive slash obliterative cardiomyopathy can also lead to dilated cardiomyopathy. What kind of dysfunction happens in restrictive slash obliterative cardiomyopathy? Is it diastolic dysfunction or is it systolic dysfunction? The dysfunction that happens in restrictive obliterative cardiomyopathy is a diastolic dysfunction. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.